What's going on everyone? Welcome back to YouTube Cribs. This episode we're going to be connecting the circles to the square grid, as well as, geez, I feel like I'm going back to my roots on YouTube, building a two-story double-walled-in staircase with a landing. Uh, for some reason, End Knight has something against walled-in stairs, I don't know what it is. Uh, every patch here on a vendetta to ruin it. In the latest patch, the locals decided to build in the middle of my castle. I feel like End Knight's trolling me because look at this precise placement inside of one of my towers. It's as close to perfect as you can get. This is where I'm building on the map, just in case you're curious. They also added a bunch of crates and also a bunch of goodies around here. We're gonna start off by destroying all of our friends' stuff that they have laying around. Well, apparently this can't be destroyed, so I guess we'll just incorporate it into the build somehow, make it some kind of showcase. I think I mentioned this in the last video, but off of each circle there's two snap points on top of each other. One will snap back to the circle for a really clean look, and the other will snap back to the rest of our square grid. Now keep this in mind, because we're going to keep extending both of them as high as we end up going. This connects back to the tower, and the other connects back to the grid. This icon can be a little tricky to get, but now it's as simple as stacking back to the tower for a clean look. I'm going to start the second corner the same way. What the hell was that? Let's get rid of this new floating glitch. Okay, well he doesn't want to go. I guess we'll have a pinata outside. I'm getting off track. Just like the first ones, you need to search around a bit, but you should find two snap points to build a column on. This will be the same for every corner. This corner's fight me a bit. Come on, is there only one point? Why is this different? I don't get it. I guess we'll give it a shot, but I don't have a good feeling about this. Well, okay, that works. And it should connect to the rest of the square grid, fingers crossed. Oh my god, I should go buy a lottery ticket. This one's doing the same thing. Maybe it's where we started, I'm not sure. Let's try it again. Oh no. This one connects to the grid, so there should be another one. Is the last corner really going to be the one that's an issue? Come on. Is this it? Nope. Here it is. Oh my god, thank you. Now I'm really going to buy a lottery ticket.
I'm only going to do this once quickly, just to show you what I meant earlier. The double columns are going to continue up as high as we go. Just like we did on the first floor, to connect the circle to the grid. For the stairs, I want one flight of stairs to go up to a landing, and then another flight of stairs going up from the left and the right of the landing. It'll end up being a two-story staircase, and I want it walled in. I'm going to build the first columns out of stone because it's permanent. The next ones will be out of wood because they're going to go. We'll connect the beams with stones and strut them because these will be the slants for the stairs. The same way we did the stone roofing in the last video. You'll see here that when you do this, the stones over snap, which can be fixed by removing one stone and replacing it, which pulls it back. Now in this scenario, I actually don't want this because it's going to ruin the walls, but I'll show you that it can still work. You can build columns and connect them, etc. But you won't be able to do anything with stone, and logs will give you the cutoff icon, aka no walls. And if you try to build a wall first, when you go to drop them down, it'll just break apart. Now this is without fixing the snap point from when they drop. We can still build the stairs, and can now also stack the walls up on each side. I also want to mention that you can fix these red arrows with stone exclusively by stacking them, because the very last one will actually connect the top as a post, even though it says you can't do it. Now that we're on the second floor, you may notice that I already have one side done. The reason that that isn't in the video uh, is because that included a lot of cursing and frustration. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but the way that works 100% of the time, not most of the time, on the second, third, 80th floor, is to do exactly what we did before, but place one stone down all the way in the back, and then drop them down. Now we can continue with the walls 100% of the time without frustration. Here's what the stairs look like. Don't worry about the outside walls, they'll be easy. 
I'm planning on making a deck or look at if you will all the way around the perimeter in the next video and starting the framing on the interior. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Until the next one, I'll see you.